Hey everybody, thank you guys for tuning in to this short little video, um, kind of following up our sneak peek that we had. I want to answer and solve some objections that you guys have and some hesitations that you have. And first of all, I get burnt. It doesn't look or it doesn't feel and it's not as bad as it looks, <laughs> I swear. I think I got a little sun today, um, but it's not as bad as it looks. I think it's the light or something. Um, but I want to answer some hesitations that you guys have. You always have a lot. Every time we do this group, um, there are a ton of hesitations. And if you'll read through everybody else's comments, you'll kind of see that your hesitations are a lot like the person ahead of you or the person behind you. Um, it's common to have objections. I was very hesitant when I approached this business and had the opportunity to join. My husband was very, very hesitant to join. Um, but we quickly learned um, after, you know, just having and taking that leap of faith that things worked out for the best and we would do it all over again if we had the opportunity to do so. Um, so I'm going to go kind of through some objections you guys have and answer some of those and, and um, put them, you know, to rest, if you will. Go out for just a second. I'm almost done. Thank you. Sorry. Um, so first, annoying your friends. Um, I, I hear that objection a lot that I don't want to, I don't want to be salesy, I don't want to put everything all over Facebook and annoy my friends. First of all, you are going to have haters, I guess if you will, doubters, people that, that mock you um, with any level of success that you see, any level. Um, whether it's in Beachbody or not, it's, it, with any level of success or any level of helping yourself and being more comfortable in yourself and being you and being happy, you're going to have a, love, a level of haters. Um, so that comes with it. As far as your friends, um, you know what, the way I look at it is that if, if they're not going to support you in the journey of bettering yourself, of, of trying to be financially free or physically fit or whatever the case may be or the, whatever the reasoning behind this business for you joining would be, um, then they're not really that great of a friend anyway. You know what I mean? If you're worried about annoying a lot of friends you went to high school with or people you don't even really talk to, is that really that bad of a loss? You know, that's the way I look at it. We're going to inspire and we are going to annoy people. Um, as I answer some other hesitations, I kind of explained to you why um, we don't really annoy that many people. Um, but those that are happy for you and those that are going to be inspired by you, um, for every in inspiration, inspired person, um, or for every annoyed person, you're going to have a hundred more that you inspire. And I want you to keep that in your head. I, I may annoy one person, but I'm inspiring a hundred others. Okay. Um, the next one is self-sabotage and not being ready and thinking, you know, maybe, um, since I'm not at my goal, how am I supposed to coach other people? That doesn't even matter. I want you to take that totally out of your head. We have a ton of coaches, myself included, who aren't where they want to be physically. We are always on a journey and as you go through and you, you lose this and you gain that and you do this and that, you're always going to be chasing that next thing. Okay? None of us are 100% where we want to be in our, in our physical appearance or mental or whatever the case may be. Um, the point of coaching is to promote the lifestyle and to promote health and fitness in general and, and health more than anything else. And um, people want to follow your journey. They don't want to follow someone who's finished and who's 100% ready to go. And they don't want to follow Barbie. They want to follow progress. They don't want to follow perfection. Um, so don't think that you need to be exactly where you want to be to be a coach. That's not what a coach is. A coach isn't perfection. A coach is someone who has a passion for it, who sees potential in it, um, and wants to, wants to be better, if that makes sense. Um, another objection is not being qualified. Again, you don't have to be a personal trainer, you don't have to be a nutritionist, you don't have to be a fitness expert, you don't have to be any kind of certified anything. Um, what you do need to be is someone who's passionate, um, self-starting, who's a go-getter. We want people who see the potential in this business, maybe not upfront and immediately, but people who you know trust in the process and want to be better for their families, for themselves. Um, we want people who want to be on the health and fitness journey. We want people who have goals. Um, fitness goals, nutrition goals, every kind of goal. We want people um, who want to help other people, who want to see, um, you know, their best friend lose weight or their mom and dad lose weight or be healthier, whatever the case may be. We want people who are on a journey. Um, you do not need any kind of qualifications, and when people think you do, they're incorrect. They just don't know about the opportunity, and they don't even know what it means to be a coach. So that's your opportunity to explain it to someone. 
Another objection we hear a lot is, or hesitation we hear a lot is not having enough time. You can easily run this business in 30 to 60 minutes a day, easily. Um, even as a full-time coach with a team of almost 4,000 people, I sit down and work maybe two to three hours a day. No lie. No lie whatsoever. Um, you can ask my husband. <laughs> um, it's not a super duper time consuming business if you're consistent and if you're doing these small little tasks every single day. We have what's called our power hour. So if you can fit in your power hour or 30 minutes a day um, and do just these little things on this little list, you can easily grow this business. It's not a time consuming business whatsoever. We are not in it for you know, being tied to our computer, or being tied to our phones. We're in it for freedom. And so everything we do is developed around that. Um, being pregnant, I have this a lot. I currently have probably 10 pregnant women on our team um, who are actively working the business. I have a lot of very successful coaches who coach their entire pregnancy. Um, again, it's not about losing weight or gaining weight or anything like that. It's about the lifestyle. You can prove, and in, I mean, this opens an entire new market for that this pregnant woman who's starting coaching, being healthy and wanting to have a healthy pregnancy. Um, because that's what it's about. It's about health. Again, it's not about losing weight. It's not about health and fitness. Or it's not about nutrition and fitness and everything like that. It's about health. Um, so that's what you can promote as a pregnant coach. Don't let it hold you back. There's no reason that it should hold you back. You can exercise. You can drink Shakeology. You can eat healthy. You can inspire a ton of people with a baby in your belly, right? Um, another objection was not wanting to be a salesperson. And this is my favorite objection because... Um, if you follow me, if you follow the person that put you in this group, you would probably not say that they're a salesperson. Um, you would probably say that what they do every single day is share their journey. Um, they post every single day. They include their workout. They include their nutrition stuff. Um, they include you know their life and their family and their friends and their kids and things like that. And that's what we do. We take it as a way. Of, we approach it as sharing versus selling. We're not trying to sell people. We're not blasting P90X is for sale and Shakeology is for sale and things like that all over our newsfeed. Um, we are posting our life, and that is what attracts people. You are who you attract. So you, if you are a busy, working mom who makes time for health and fitness, you are going to attract other busy moms who want to make time for health and fitness. It's all about what you put out there. Trust me. Um, a saturated market. That's another hesitation I hear a lot. Is oh my gosh, there's coaches everywhere. No, there's not. Honestly, out of 350,000 350, enrolled coaches, there are about, I think, 100,000 that actually work the business. Um, out of those 100,000, I can tell you that a lot of them are not successful because they don't do the business every single day, which opens up a huge, huge opportunity for you guys. Um, you think that maybe in the town you live in there are too many coaches. That's fine. I, I, the town I grew up in, there are a lot of coaches now. Kansas City, where I moved from, there are a ton of coaches now. Um, but that doesn't matter because we're not going to be working with our little hometown. We're going to be working with social media, with, with everybody, with the U.S. and Canada. And in 2016, we are supposed to be expanding internationally. So if, if you think we're saturated now, just wait. You're going to have like an entirely new part of the country to work with. Um, whenever we get done, or a new part of the world, I guess, to work with when we get done in 2016. So things are just starting. There, there is not a saturated market. Um, I'm constantly having new people come to me and me reaching out to new people and adding new friends on Facebook and just having so many more new conversations with people. Um, an example, I moved to California just over, you know, through the end of the summer and I mention Beachbody a ton, almost to every person we talk to, because uh, the question comes up a lot of, what do you do? And I say, we work with Beachbody, and they're like, what's Beachbody? And I'm like, you don't know what Beachbody is? There's so many people that don't even know that this opportunity exists, so I encourage you to not let that get to you. Don't let that get to you at all. You don't even need to work with your hometown people. You work with, with social media, and we will teach you how to do that. Um, no network of people having you know no one to talk to. It's another hesitation. Um, I encourage you. I had three, five hundred friends on Facebook. I think whenever I first started, and I have five thousand now, plus a like page with five thousand people, plus an Instagram with five thousand extra people. You will grow through social media. It doesn't matter how many people you know right now. It doesn't matter how many people you have on Facebook right now. We will teach you in our exclusive training how to expand your network. Do not worry about that, and that cannot even be a hesitation for you. Um, stepping out of your comfort zone. Obviously, one a very popular um, hesitation for a lot of people. This is hard. 
I started and I wasn't posting all over social media all the time. I had, you know, not really done that much on Facebook before. Um, so it is hard. It is difficult to, to put your feelings and emotions aside and just post and be yourself. But I encourage you, if you do that, it's going to be the best thing you could possibly do. Um, it's, it's not easy. I am still growing every single day. Our coaches are growing every single day and, and slowly opening up to different things. Um, I'm not asking you to join and vomit your entire story and life all over unless you want to, and that's fine. Um, but we take it in baby steps. If, if you are comfortable with sharing service level type things, then go for it. As long as you are sharing, and that's all we want you to do right now, your comfort zone will expand. Um, I was a very quiet, speak when spoken to woman, and I'm not that way anymore. It just doesn't happen that way anymore. Um, Beachbody completely changed me, and I am confident that it will completely change you as well if you allow it to. Um, I have three more objections that I want to cover. The next one is um, not being active on Facebook. Get active on Facebook. It doesn't matter right now if you, um, hold on a second. Guys, I need you to get out for a second. I'm almost done. Nope, 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 out. I gotta finish the video, please. Almost done. Almost done. Please get out. Oh, you want your lips? Here, you can take both of them, but you gotta get out of here so I can finish the video, okay? This is real life. Constantly interrupted. <laughs> As I love. Okay, um, not being active on Facebook. Get active. And I see this scenario all the time. So if I told you right now that if you started posting on Facebook three times a day, uh, started working out every single day, started eating healthy, started drinking Shakeology, if I told you that if you did that consistently for two years that you could have a potential six-figure income coming in, would you do it? I would. Heck, yeah, I would. It's crazy to me how many people would not, or how many people would say, oh my gosh, no fear is going to hold me back, right? I want to wait two years. Um, I made a post up the other day on social media saying how funny it was that people think it's, a, it's, it's um, that two to five years is a long time to wait to, you know, get rich or make a significant income when most people work for 40 years to stay broke. Isn't that mind-boggling? Um, so to me, I'm like, people who aren't active on Facebook, get active. Start sharing your journey. There is nothing that is gonna like kill you. You're not gonna die from posting on Facebook. You won't die. Um, if you're worried about creeps and perverts and stuff like that, don't post anything on Facebook that you wouldn't share publicly. Don't share naked pictures of your children on Facebook. Don't do it, even if your profile's public or private, right? Share your journey, share your food, your fitness, your family in a tasteful way. Share just your life. Share what you're doing right this second. I encourage you to go to my profile and look at my posts because that's what we do every single day is we simply share our journey. Um, get active. There's no reason for you to not be active on Facebook. It's not going to kill you. You're not going to get murdered. I promise you're going to be fine. Um, but it's part of this business is being active on social media. Whatever form that is to you, whether it's blogging or Instagram or Facebook or whatever the case may be, I encourage you just to start. Okay, Have an open mind and start. Um, spending the money. That's the final or the next couple of objections that I want to talk to you about kind of around money. Um, it is not expensive to start as a Beachbody coach. You have a potential six-figure business right here where you pay $40 to sign up. $39.95 is your startup cost. Now, most people start with a challenge pack, which gives you your own workout, your own Shakeology, your own meal plan, training, everything like that included. Um, so yeah, those started around 140, which is you know hundred dollars more than starting with zero, right? So for me, every one of my coaches start with a challenge pack. I want them started on their own journey. I want them working out. I want them drinking Shakeology. I want you started on the right track. So this is how you start. So 140 dollar investment to a potential six figure business. It's not that much money. And if you break it down, if you're worried about the cost of Shakeology or anything like that, we do get 25% discounts, but it breaks down to under $3 a day or just over $3 a day. Most people spend more than that on coffee. Shakeology will replace your coffee. Most people spend more than that on lunch or breakfast out or dinner out or whatever the case may be. This is replacing one of those meals. So it's saving you money if you break it down. Um, but a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people are closed-minded and they won't break it down. Stop and break it down. Cut out, you know, something out of your grocery budget that you would normally spend money on and use this instead to replace it. Whatever you would spend that $3 a day on previously, replace it with Shakeology. Not only are you moving your business forward by doing this, um, a potential huge business, um, but you're also bettering yourself. You're feeding your body with quality nutrients that it actually needs versus synthetic anything.
right? Um, and then not having a return on your investment. That's the last thing I want to cover, and I know this is a super long video, so I apologize. Um, but a lot of people are fear of not having a return on their investment. And let me just ask you this. Say, say you sign up, and you don't make any money, but you've got a kick butt workout program. You have top of the line nutrients. You have um, an amazing meal plan to follow, so you're getting healthy. Right? You're getting healthy. You are there changing the entire outlook of your family. Your friends are seeing you this way. Your entire life is changing just by that, just by being healthy. Okay? But then you're inspiring other people. Um, you're inspiring other people to make this change and, and, and your friends and family and everything on Facebook. Um, what else is changing? Um, I mean, if you're not making any money, there are so many other benefits to this business. Um, the new friends, the accountability to stay on track, things like that, that that most people pay for anyway. Most people pay for personal trainers anyway. Um, so say you make no money with this business. You're getting healthy, you're inspiring people anyway, and mentally you should feel a lot better about this. Um, I will tell you though, because I hate saying that, I hate saying, what if it doesn't work out? Okay, if it doesn't work out, it's because of something you yourself are doing. It's because of something that is you are holding back from. We give you every single tool that you need in this business to be successful. Training, videos, one-on-one, -on -one, every single thing that you need in this business to be successful, we provide you. If you don't see success from it, it's because something inside of you has held you back. There is something you aren't doing every single day that you should be. Okay? I know that's hard to soak in. I know this is a lot of information, um, but I really hope it helped. I really hope that you guys see the value in this and the fact that every hesitation you throw my way or every objection people throw my way, I have an answer back for you. I have an answer back for you to squash that, to show you that this business is real, that this potential is huge, um, that you can do this, that you do have enough time for this, that it's not a huge investment cost-wise. Um, this business is amazing. I love every single aspect of it. It has completely flipped my world upside down um, in an amazing way. And I just, every single successful coach on our team has dug in. And that's just what I want to see everyone else do. I want to see everyone dig in and close their eyes and just take that leap of faith. Um, because you know what? In two years, if you are consistent, the payout is insane. Not just financially. That physically, mentally, emotionally, the benefits of this business are insane. So I just encourage you guys. I hope to see all of you on our team page in the next week or so. Um, but please feel free to comment below if you have questions. Message me or the person who sent you um, if, they, if you have questions. And we'd be happy to squash those hesitations for you even further. Have a great day, guys. Bye.